Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Age. I'm back with another look for you guys today. I know you missed me. So I'm going to brunch today. Um, and I just throw some things together. So I think so my accessories today are gonna be pink. I'm gonna have my pink glamour headband, my pink glamour scrunchies um shop adorn period so and i think the dress that i'm gonna wear is gonna be white and my shoes are gonna be pink so i personally love the color combo pink and blue in case you didn't notice a few of my makeup looks that i've done have been pink and blue so i don't know if i want to do like a blue look or just do pink and have it like be all one color but yesterday i got something really really exciting from ulta so i went in ulta really just to get a paddle brush because i i need to blow dry my hair or whatever and you know you can't go in ulta or sephora or anything like that and just pick up one thing like it just never works so i ended up seeing some other things and when i walked in the door there was this display y'all y'all makeup revolution did a brats collab and if anybody know me and if y'all want to know because y'all don't know me like that yet y'all i love brats like i grew up on brats like brats are probably one of the reasons that i'm like so into makeup because that's all i played with when i was younger like i was never into barbies it was brats like they were just way cuter they have way better accessories y'all know i'm into accessories obviously i have a business but like brats were my thing like to the i had all of them i used to watch the tv show because there used to be a, a cartoon for it everything so this is so dope like i saw the display and i'm like where have i been that i did not know about this before it dropped because literally y'all there was nothing left like it was one big display there was this palette which is like the most expensive one out of the collection because it's like the biggest this is um what is it called? I don't know. Let me, I have the box. Dang. It's not on the box either. I don't know. I don't remember. But this is what, <laughs> camera. This is what it looks like, y'all. It's so dope. So these are all shadows. And then in the middle is highlighters. And let me tell you, I tested those highlighters last night. They're nothing to play with okay this is so dope and i love palettes that have a mirror like and then it's like it's like metal like that kind of metal that they used to make lunch boxes out of so it's just it's very giving me nostalgia of my childhood i love this but like i was saying it was all empty like they had these palettes and then they had palettes for each one of the girls like they had a chloe a jade a yasmin individual palette that was smaller and then each of them had um like lips too there was like a lip gloss there's like a plumping other type of lip gloss and then they had like little lip liners and that was like the collection there was nothing left but these palettes and i think there was like one ja yasmin palette one chloe palette and then there was like one plumping gloss from yasmin but i don't really like plumping gloss because like <laughs> like i don't need my lips to be over big they're pretty you know so and it just like like whatever chemicals they put in it like it makes my lips feel weird anyways i'm so excited about this so i think i'm gonna use it today to create my look so if i'm i don't know if i want to do it just doesn't have a lot of like the same colors like if i was to do a blue look it's really only like this blue and then i don't know because that's really it this is more of like a teal and that's just not it so there are a couple different pinks i could do that but yeah we're gonna see what we can make with this palette so stay tuned okay so as of lately i've been using um juvia's place foundation and concealers because they're like super full coverage but i don't think i want to do that today um, I think I want to do a little something more lightweight. So my options are, 
I can do the Neutrogena. Wow, it's L'Oreal, not that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so the L'Oreal True Match. This is like not full coverage, but it's like decent. Like this is something you could like throw on if you like need to do your makeup in 20 minutes. You know, real quick, like before school type stuff. I don't have school anymore, but you know. Or I could do this, um, Born to Clothe. But this is, it's summer. I don't, this is like a glow foundation. It's like a hydrating foundation. And for the summer, because I feel like I need things that are like more like mattifying because I do get a little bit more oily in the summer than I do in the winter, like around my nose. So I do, I think this is what we're going to use. It's Revlon. Guys, I got this on clearance at Target for like $5 or something, maybe three. Like it was really cheap and I actually really like it. Like and I'm getting good about, like, picking my color out because they're, you know, they don't, like, have, it's Revlon. They don't have, like, a full finny spread of shades. And this actually matches so perfect. I'm getting so good at picking my color without, like, having to test it and stuff. But, yeah, so this was really cheap and ended up being really nice. So this is what we're going to go with today because it's, like, does it say matte? Yeah, it's a matte foundation. And it's just, like, really easy and not overbearing. So, I'm just going to spread it out and I'll be back. All right. Let me tell you guys a trick of what I do for my foundation to be flawless and look like skin. So, I use a foundation brush first. So, you guys saw me. I, like, applied it with my finger, basically. And then I use a foundation brush to kind of spread it out and get it just, like, covered all over my face. And then, once it's, like, covered, but it's not, like, fully blended. You probably can't see on camera, but I can see it in the mirror. It looks a little... A little cakey I go in with a wet or damp not wet but a beauty blender and that's when I like blend it out and the beauty blender is like what'll really make it um blend into your skin nice and smooth and then it's really gonna look like your skin is just flawless like blemish free so that's my secret to flawless foundation okay don't tell nobody <laughs> I tell you guys that shape tape is one of my favorite concealers ever like ever and like I said I've been using Juvia's place this is don't this look like a foundation bottle this is their concealers like they give you so much and then the foundations come in like this but they're so full coverage like this is actually a lot because you literally need a pea size literally but anyways Shape Tape is one of my favorite concealers. You guys can see it's like almost gone. Like, I literally swear by it. It's so nice to be blended. I get that nose contour, that highlight. It's imperative. And then, you know, your chin. But it's like the formula. I don't know. Like, this is just what a concealer should be for me. Like, it's a little bit thicker than like my regular foundation and it's just like I let I let my concealers dry down a little bit too where's my just because when you dry you let them dry down before you blend them it um it stays in place so instead of like it just being blended out all over your face like it'll stay to conceal my under eye like it just it does what it needs to do when you let it dry down before you blend it out but yeah so this is the best concealer i'm not gonna lie i like the juvia's place ones too they get the job done but like i swear by shape tape i don't have um a like darker one for contour though so i'm just gonna use
my Juvia's Place one for contour. But yeah, this is the best. I like was tempted to, gotta be careful not to put too much on that part. But I was tempted to buy like the Shape Tape foundation when it came out because I love the concealer so bad and hydrating foundations are just better for my skin type anyways but that's the best concealer okay like if you don't get nothing else and you looking for products get the shape tape concealer it's by Tarte you can get it at Ulta you can get it at Sephora yeah get that all right so i blended out my contour and concealer it's given a nice contour and i did another layer of my concealer one other reason that i really just love the shape tape is because like i said when you dry your down your concealer it stays this when it dries down honey it's not going nowhere okay like it's not going nowhere. Like, look at my chin. Y'all see the highlight right here and then the contour. Like, it's not going nowhere. You can still see the highlight here that I blended out. Like, you can see the definition. And that's what you want when you're contouring your face. Like, you want it to blend together so there's not, like, harsh lines. But you want to see the definition, okay? You want that chiseled look okay so yeah shape tape is good for that for drying down your concealer and make sure it stays where you place it so your face not just a mess you put the concealer here it's blended over here like nah that's not what we want so moral of the story if you do a makeup without shape tape i don't know what you're doing i don't know any other concealer that rivals this like let me know if you feel like you got another concealer that want to get up with mine. All right, so after you're done concealing, the most important step, especially in the summer, is to powder your face. So I'm using uh, the Beauty Bakery Pinch of Flower Setting Powder. And it's going to be, this is what I use to set my contour. It's pretty dark. Um, This is the almond chestnut color. So I take that and I'll just like set my contoured areas, my cheeks, the rim of my face. And it blends in easy. I don't bake with that, but I just set those areas with like a finer powder brush. And then I use my makeup revolution banana powder and that's what i'll use to like set the highlights of my face as you see so um the contour one i just blend in and that's fine i bake my highlighted areas just because i want those to stand out more and i'm actually gonna move on to my eyes while i just let that bake so if anything like residuals hit my cheeks i could just dust it away when i get that off so yeah um, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Did you guys notice that I didn't do my eyebrows before I started my face? Okay, I don't. I'm doing my brows differently lately, so I haven't been doing them um, before because I'm going for like a more natural brow look. So I'm gonna get into that, okay? Are you ready? Okay, so what I do for my brows is I want them to look, cause I have pretty nice brows, I'm not gonna lie. So I want them to kind of look natural, just like filled in and defined a little more. Um, so first I go in with edge control, edge booster. That's the only edge controls I use. And I put just a little bit on my finger and then I kind of like smooth my brows out like this. See that? So that they're just not like, they're laid, okay? You want the brows to be laid like your edges, okay? And then I take like a small spoolie brush and I brush them like upwards. And they kind of give you the look how your brows look when they're laminated. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a trend that's going around recently. 
where they'll like laminate your brows so they stay laid instead of like putting stuff on them it's weird but this is what i do so they're nice and laid to my face you see that so you could like see the hair and I feel like it gives my brows like a better shape. Like you can see the, the arch of my brows better when they're like this. So that's what I do. And I'll just kind of point the ends off like that. But So I'll do that to both sides. And then um, I'll take my eyebrow pencil. I'm currently using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. So, I don't know if you guys knew this from my past videos, but I was, in the past, I was using the Makeup Revolution pencil that's just like this one. I think I like the Makeup Revolution better. I tried this one because when I bought the Makeup Revolution, they told me it was similar to this pencil, but this pencil is like $20. The Makeup Revolution one is 8 and I actually think I like that one better because... <laughs> because like I don't I like the formula of the actual pencil like this one it's it's a little bit soft for me and I feel like when it's softer it just kind of like isn't as precise as the makeup revolution it's not like as like oily or softer of a formula so when I draw the line it's gonna stay there okay this one it kind of gets a little blended out so do what you gotta do but okay so back to my eyebrow so i brushed it out and i'm just gonna define underneath it so i really just want um like the bottom shape is really where it arches to be defined i'm not gonna like fill it in too much and give it a nice point at the end Yeah. I'm not gonna like do the whole eyebrow because normally you would like define this part and then you would go back and define that part as well. So it's like a full thing. But since I'm going of a more natural look, I just want the bottom to be defined. So I have that nice crisp line, but like I'm not gonna like fill my whole brows in and then I'll just go back with my spoolie and make sure that the hairs are in place and look how that looks it looks natural almost like to me it looks like if I got my my eyebrows like tinted or microbladed or something I love the look so that's how I do my eyebrows and then I would take, I don't know if I have like a small brush like this, or I have a spoolie brush that has like a small brush. I don't know where it is at the moment, but then I would take like a concealer and just go underneath that line. I feel like this one, I'm like running out of my shape tape. I gotta get some more. I'm going to mix the shape tape with just a little bit of the Juvia's. And you literally just want to take the smallest amount. Like, just get the brush a little wet on both sides so you have a little bit of product. And then I just want to draw, like, a slight line um, underneath so there's a contrast. See that? Like, that makes it look so much cleaner. So, yeah. This is how I do my brows. And it's different for different looks. Like sometimes they jamming. Sometimes if I'm doing like a more glamorous look or if I want really like thick brows, like defined dark brows for that look, then I'll do the normal way of doing my brows. But this is how I do them now. And I love it. Like, it's it's more natural to me. So, I'm about to go do my other brow. And then I'm going to get into the eye look. Okay? Alright, so the brows are done. 
I love them. It's already given like dub play with me. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ooh wee, it's a jazzy fizzle, product fizzle. <laughs> if you could tell me what song that's from, you a real one. Like only the real know for sure. Like comment, drop it in the comments if you know what song that's from. But we finna get into what you guys came to see, the eye look. Okay, so we're back to the reds palette. I'm giving, I feel like this pink, can you see it for real? It's called Tweebles. If you a real Bratz friend, you would know it was like these twins in the show and they were evil. That's where Tweebles come from. It's just giving my childhood, y'all. Like, okay, I think I'm gonna use that pink though. Because it's just so vibrant. I don't know if I should blend out a base color first, though. Um, I think I should. But I kind of want a different... I want a darker... Because, okay, check it out. So, this is like a glitter color, right? So, I can't just put that all over my eye. It's going to look weird. I need, like, a matte color to be able to blend out first and then put that to, like... That's just how it has to go. So, I could either do this baby pink with that. Or I could try this one. But this is giving more magenta. It's giving a tint of purple. So, I think I'm going to try this one. And just to like, lighter colors like this are kind of hard to blend out. Just because they're so light, you have to use a lot of the color. But that's what I'm going to do. Let me find a good blending brush. Because this is going to be some work, honey. Hmm, which weapon shall I choose? We're going to go with the e.l.f. blending eye brush because it's small, but it's like compact. So hopefully it'll get the job done well. So I'm going to do that light pink. It's called Jade. And I'm going to blend that into like my upper eye area, like this area. And then I'm going to put the tweebles all over the lid. I don't want to use too much at first just gonna go in lightly and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do it's not gonna be too much of things going on i'll probably do like a white eyeliner give it a little razzle dazzle but yeah this is gonna be the look Kind of pack that in there so the color will show. Y'all see that? Starting to come through. Okay, cool, period. I feel like if you're a girl and you don't like pink, it's just weird. Like, it don't gotta be your favorite color, but pink is just like such a vibe. Like, pink is not my favorite color. I don't think it's ever been my favorite color. Honestly, like even when I was younger, I don't think pink has ever been my favorite color, but like it's always been like part of my lifestyle. Like pink is a lifestyle. I seen something on the internet the other day that said the same thing. That said like pink is a lifestyle. Like, And I feel like that's true. It was of like, a girl and she had like a pink expensive car like it might have been like a Rolls Royce or something and it was pink and she had a whole pink outfit on it's just like pink is a lifestyle I feel you sis all right so I got the pink in there and I blended it out so that's all set as like my transition color so now I'm gonna use this morph packing brush to go in with tweevils and get a lot of their on there let's see oh that's what we do y'all i don't know if you can see but it's like a metallic this this about to be some sh okay hold on this is dumb nice 
Ja. They did something with this palette. They did something, I'm telling y'all. Hold on. Don't count me out. Okay, so since this um metallic one is like heavier it's not as fine like metallic eyeshadows are coarser or like more choppy than like a regular matte they're not as smooth so instead of like blending I have to like pat it so that it stays that's how you have to apply these type of eyeshadows and then when you do that as well you know you get the full shine an effect of the metallic see that and then I'll only really drag it to like create that shape of where I want it to go because I don't want it to just be on my lid I kind of want to drag it across to create a line of like where I want the shadow to sit and then I'll go back in and pat it in to that that area that I just created Yep. All right, guys. So I'm pretty much done applying the metallic shadow. So that's going to be the main part of my eyes. The only thing I'm going to do now is go in with a white eyeliner. I have my ColourPop liner. These are great, the liquid ones. Like, look how. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then I'm pretty much going to be done with my face. Actually, I want to set my face before I do the eyeliner because if I try to spray my face after, I feel like, my sweeper, I feel like if I try to do it after, it's going to mess up the eyeliner. Like it's going to run or something. So I'm just going to sweep away all that excess powder and then do my set and spray. So for the eyeliner, I like to start on the outside so I get a perfect point and then drag it in to my corner. And then like since I have a color on my eyelid, I'm going to wipe it off on my hand in between. And kind of fill it in. And that's going to give me like that white cat eye. And then from the bottom, I start in the corner and we'll like slowly bring it out. So then I get a point as well. It's all about making the perfect triangle. giving very much breaths for me okay and i'm gonna go in with my any better than sex mascara i'm gonna put lashes on but it is essential to put mascara on before you put on lashes like if you don't i just don't even know what you're doing Okay, so I'm just going to get them nice and fluffed. So when you put on mascara before you put on lashes, it fluffs up your eyelashes so that it blends nice with your false lashes. I love this. It's just giving. It's giving. It's, doing, it's giving exactly what it needs to give. I have like a smaller one by Urban Decay Perversion mascara i'm gonna use on my bottom lashes i gotta get those together as well uh-huh for sure <laughs> see
see you see it yeah i gotta get, look at this side this it's it makes such a difference when you do your bottom lashes i just i need you guys to start doing your bottom lashes if you don't already i even like have like individuals that i put on my bottom lashes let me show you like fake lashes these are for my bottom lashes because they be I ain't gonna do all of that today, but when I put those on, child, it be it's giving, giving beyond what it needs to give. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this up. Add a little bit more to top. Since it is like a pink look, I'm going to go in with a more pink blush. So this is the one that I'm going to use. It's like, I don't know. It's a really per peculiar color because it gives me pink, but it's also a little brown and a tint of orange. But I like this one. I'm just not going to use a lot of it because it is actually a lot deeper toned than it looks so i'm just gonna give a little bit of this for the cheeks just to bring some warmth into my face it literally helps your contour a lot as well You have kind of rosy cheeks and it does have a little bit of like can you see that like i see a little bit of orange in there too it's very it's giving color mixologist this is beauty bakery by the way snackaroon blush i love beauty bakery and their whole like bakery sweets theme i i just so creative and cute like this is supposed to be like a little macaroon i love macaroons like i bought that literally just because i bought this literally just because i got this one and then i got this actually orange one because orange blush on black people let me tell you is the flyest thing ever like it was created for us it's orange blush was created for melanated people and i'm just gonna say that okay i said what i said but I literally bought those just because they like were snackaroons and they're supposed to be like maroons because I love maroons. Is it me or is the blush like glowing a little bit like this? Let me tell you. It's giving top notch. Period. So that's that. All I have to do is put on lashes and my lip and then I'll be back with the final look period and my hair y'all look at this i have like curls that have fallen i'm just gonna comb them out so it's like wavy okay okay y'all got my lashes got my lips y'all see how glossy this lip gloss is this is my type of gloss okay it's giving brats with the lip liner too so i use the nyx suede lip liner in color club hopper and then i have mac cream sheen lip gloss in fashion scoop like listen it's everything it's everything and then i just went back in with the highlighter from the brats palette remember i told you these three were highlighters this top one can you i don't even know if you guys can see it it's like not gold, but it has gold undertones. Baby, when you put it on your face, is that gold or what? Like, this palette different, okay? But that's pretty much it. This is the finished product. It's giving very much, very much bread though. So go get the palette if you still can. Don't forget to get all the products I told you guys about because they will take your makeup look to the next level. Like, it literally is the foundational things that you use, like that concealer that dries down well, the setting powder that's going to make it stay, that's really going to make your makeup 
you know okay so if you loved seeing me create this look don't forget to subscribe to my channel like leave a comment comment what song i was singing earlier because i did it for you like okay comment if you know that song because you're a real one okay and stay tuned for my next video bye